Why the big hurry? If Dr. Carlo is not extracted tonight, Datadyne will put him through mind conditioning, and we'll lose our best chance of finding out what Datadyne are up to. Are they all expendable? Don't joke. You have to be careful, Joanna. Code keys will only operate while the owner is alive. If you kill them, the key is useless. Armed guards are a different matter, of course. What's the target location? Work your way down the building to the ground level. Dr. Cowell will be in a research lab somewhere in the underground facility. How will I recognize him? We don't have an image record, and we can't find any official files. All we have is the name. Good luck, Dr. Dark. Positive reading. The internal comms hub is nearby. Confirmed. You're on the same floor as Cassandra's office. Understood. You and what are you doing here? Look out! She's got a gun! You won't shoot me, foolish child. Don't you know who I am?
Yes, yes, I agree. Personality is expandable in this case. No, I can start the process from my office terminal and delete the necessary files at the same time. I'll begin at once. Goodbye. Help! Intruder! Security, help me! I've got a password problem, and you're the man to help me with it. But don't shoot! Don't shoot! I'm logging on now. Right, I I I'm in. got to be in the security room. Is it?
Joel, the levels are too high. Use the cam spy. Received. Something is using a lot of power. What are you doing in my lab? Shut down the experiments. Uh, I'll shut it down. My experiments. Sure. You made your any better? Uh, one more time.
There's someone here. seen you before. Pull the plug on that. Now! Please, d don't hurt me. There, the experiment is down. Who the hell are you? Switch this thing off. Allow me to assist you. Ex ah! Come on! That's the highest security sector. Dr. Carl has got to be nearby. Affirmative. We've got to... Dr. Carroll? Dr. Carroll, are you here? Well? Is it safe to come out? Yes, all clear. Wh what You... Very professionally done, my dear. But there's no time to waste. We must leave immediately. Come on! I have vital information! And you must protect me! She's here! Lights out! No! <sighs> what the?
down the ground floor. Get to the elevator. Understood. Just hurry up! Oh no, we're too late! She's here! We meet again, girl. You've become quite an annoyance. Good night, Miss Dark. <laughs> I can't leave any bodyguards standing. Do you actually know what you're doing? Don't keep the jump ship waiting. Get back to the landing pad. Understood. This is your final warning! somewhere something I can do for you old woman return our sapient immediately you don't know what you're doing yes I do I'm leaving one more chance give it back and you could come and work for me Sorry, got a shoot <laughs> You must get the sapient back. We cannot proceed without it. I know that. I also know who to talk to. Mr. Carrington.
Agent Dark, Mission Log 1846 hours. Last night, we got a call from Cassandra de Vries. A Datadyne team have taken Daniel Carrington hostage at his private villa on the coast, and they say they will spare his life in exchange for the AI. Unfortunately, we don't have it. Daniel and Dr. Carroll were at the villa to discuss matters of mutual interest. It looks like Daniel found a way to hide Dr. Carroll inside the villa when the Datadyne hit squad arrived. Hopefully, our phony negotiator ploy will give me a chance to surprise the Datadyne squad. This time, it's not just my life on the line. What the? Come here!
get her. Come here. If I get the wind generator back online, I'll get power to the lower basement. Come on, then. Those hackers have to be stopped before I rescue Daniel. There's someone here! He must be holding Daniel. No, Joanna, I'm okay. But those Datadyne thugs made me tell them where I'd hidden Dr. Carroll. Only I'd held out for a few minutes more. It's not your fault, sir. I should have been quicker. Don't blame yourself, Joanna. Dr. Carroll told me that he expected this to happen. Actually, when they recaptured him, the Datadyne team got overconfident and let slip a few facts when they thought I was unconscious. They mentioned a meeting in the G5 building in Chicago, Illinois, tonight. I want you to be there, but that doesn't leave you a lot of time to get ready. That won't be a problem, sir. So, did Dr. Carroll have any useful information for you? Oh, yes, indeed. He certainly did, and I'll brief you when you're on your route to Chicago. We might still be able to help him, even after those butchers remove his personality. He thinks they'll keep a copy of it in a safe place. About time I called in some friends to deal with Datadyne. We suspect the G5 Corporation is just a front for Datadyne and whoever else is involved in this plot. I know Cassandra de Vries is going to be here, but I need to know who else is attending and what they discuss. By the time you get out, the help I requested should have arrived. Just who is this help you keep referring to? Not now, Joanna. Time for radio silence. Good luck. Thanks a lot. Greetings, citizen. Who the... Faith, we have an intruder. Come 
here. Guns don't scare me. Two situation. The only place we could secure the equipment was a strong rain. Program that taxi. It's a Mark II and should be compatible. Understood. Whoa, take it easy there, lady. I don't want any trouble. Cover me! Now! They're here. Take the wallet. Either of those blocked up doors will do as an escape route.
lift is your only point of ingress. Confirmed. There's no way through while those hey. lenses are active. We've recovered the sapient from Carrington and altered its programming. It no longer has a personality, so there will be no further incidents. This will reduce its efficiency. My team will have to take it to the core themselves. This will endanger them. You should have anticipated that the sapient might develop a troublesome moral code. No one could have predicted that, and I resent being singled out for blame. What about him? The President turned down your request for the loan of the Pelagic II? Could it be you overestimated your influence over him? No. Perhaps I underestimated his resolve. We have a contingency plan ready to go, and we will move as soon as the Presidential Honorage arrives at the airbase. All I need from the President is a tissue sample. <laughs> Assuming you don't get any interference. If Carrington has pieced together enough of this, he will have called for reinforcements. There will be no outside help from Mr. Carrington. The technology you gave us is installed in Nevada and fully operational. We can intercept any craft they use. Then the devices we gave you are working correctly. Good because we believe anything which does not work correctly should be destroyed. Consider that as you follow your backup plans. Trigger the alarm! We've got a contact! Oh my god! Oh, 
heavily encrypted. The decoder's gonna take a little longer. Confirmed. Intruder alert! All security to the vault! the door I set up earlier. There! Movement! Reporting in. Prepare to receive a download of the meeting data. Priority request for an institute support team to protect the president before he goes to Alaska. No time for that now, Agent Dark. There's been a development during radio silence. The craft carrying those friends I was talking about was shot down over Nevada. The weapon responsible was found from Area 51. That's where the survivors and debris will have been taken. You're to prep for immediate dispatch when you return here. Coming to now, too. Area 51? But what about the President? Okay, Joanna, take a look at this. Our operative inside Area 51 was able to get this out to us. This is your entry point. A deserted helipad on the edge of the base. The lift down to the hangars and the rendezvous point is beyond that wall. Watch out for these guards. Here's the communications antenna. Attach a comms rider bug so we can talk to you when you're inside the base. Again, watch out for hostiles. Oh my god! Here is our friend. He appears to be physically in hurt, though he hasn't regained consciousness yet. By the look of it, the surgeons are almost done with their preliminary tests and will begin dissection soon. But who was... Any questions? No. Good. Away you go to the hangar. Agent Dark, mission log, 1028 hours. Against my better judgment, I'm about to enter Area 51. Yeah.
the antenna, but I can't throw a bug that high. Over me. with that trigger finger, Agent Dark. You're closing in on my position. Affirmative. Hey, you <laughs> Did you hear that? <laughs> 
Agent Dark, over here. There you are. I was beginning to wonder if... If what? If you'd been discovered yet. And frankly, if this is how you work, I'm amazed that you lasted longer than five minutes. I was tidying up one of your loose ends. My loose ends? I'm sorry. I didn't realize you wanted him to shoot you. I can call in some more guards if you like. Okay, okay. Forget about it. I'm going to let the Institute know we've made contact. The problem you have is that there is no way to sneak into the research section. The only way in available to you is a weak section of wall I've marked in the room beyond the stores. It can be destroyed with explosives. Doesn't sound like a problem to me. Where are these explosives? In that crate. Cute. Very cute. By the way, the stores are crawling with guards. It may go against your nature, but try sneaking through rather than blasting everything. Certainly. Any other pearls of wisdom? That crate. Yes. It really doesn't like being shot. Right, now if I can just fight the urge to report him to base security. Intruder alert! <laughs>
The temperature's dropping. You must be close to the cryo room. The showers. Now, if I can convince someone to part with their uniform... Get her! Who are you? Oh my god! A gun!
The air is heavily recycled around here. Must be near the autopsy lab. Hey there. Hiya. So, you got here at last. Everyone's been waiting for you. Hey, that's not Harry. <laughs> up and step away from the alien. Don't make me tell you again, Doctor, and turn that laser off. What the hell do you think you're doing? This is supposed to be a sealed room. Don't you know anything about autopsy procedures? I don't care much for procedures. Director Easton will hear about this young lady. You can't take that! It's government property! This is intolerable. It's, it's unprofessional. Let's see how that overconfident thief deals with our gas defense system. She'll think twice before messing with me again. What's that noise? Can't be. Gas! No! That wasn't meant to happen! You idiot! We'd better get out of here. Joanna, this is Jonathan. You're in grave danger. They flooded the area with nerve gas. Get a friend to the containment lab. There's a hiding place there. I'll contact you when you get there. Good luck. Understood. Jonathan, before he gets into any more trouble. That's 
smell? Oil. I smelt that in the other hangars. There's someone here! <laughs> around here. Joanna, over here. We need to get back to our friend. Right, we're near. Cover me, Joe. Okay, stand back! I'm alive! I thought I'd be chopped up like the others by now. You're from the Institute, aren't you? I recognize you from before. You helped me. Thank you. You... you speak our language? Watch her, she's sharp. What's wrong? I have a headache. And with a head this big, that's no joke.
Can you walk? We must leave before they get organized and hunt us down. I think so. What's your name? I'm Agent Dark. Or Joanna, if you'd prefer. Well, Joanna, I'm Protector One. But you can call me Elvis. Oh no, we have a problem. It's a single seater. Two can get in, but no more. It's the only way out of here. Plus it's got no style. You know what I'm saying? You're the only one who can fly it, Elvis, so get in. One of us will have to stay behind and open the hangar doors. But we can't leave you behind. There must be a way out of here. I'll get out of open the doors. Jonathan, go with Elvis. I'll see to the consoles. before they lock the base down. position. I can see the main entrance to the base, and I can just make out the cable car arrival point. Excellent, Joanna. That cable car is your way in. Our observer at the lower terminus has spotted a member of the flight crew boarding a minute ago. She is being escorted by airbase troops. I don't have to remind you that... That they're probably innocent of any involvement in Trent's little scheme. They can't shoot at them, even if they shoot at me. What about the NSA agents? I don't know how far the conspiracy has spread through the NSA, but I'm willing to bet that the men Trent has around him here are loyal to him and his plan. You have to get the evidence of Trent's betrayal onto Air Force One and show it to the President. Yes, and protect him from his abductors. Do you have any idea what Trent's plan might be yet? What about those blonde guys? Only vague suspicions, and I won't distract you with those. Good luck. Callington out.
was my best friend. Are you new around here? Hey! Give me back my case! You get security. I'll deal with her. Use that case to conceal your equipment. Afternoon. Hey. Okay, you know the way from here. Hey there. Hello. How's things? Hiya. How's things? Hi. The case will get stopped unless you do something. Confirmed. You shouldn't have come here, girl! Hey, what's up? Hello. Hello.
stop them! They're breaking into the safe! We've got to go! Are you... There's someone here! Have you thought any more about that proposal I gave you, sir? My answer remains the same. I'm sorry, Trent, but no. I won't loan the Pelagic 2 to Datadyne. Now please, can we move on to other matters? But this is a golden opportunity to show that America has faith in its industries and will back them. Damn it, man. I say no, and I mean no. I'm not going to change my mind on this. I need my advisors to be unbiased. And recently you've not been giving me the impartiality I require. Let it go, and we'll say no more. This is your last chance. As you wish, sir. My last chance? <laughs> you fool. That was yours. How's things? Hello. Hey there. Hi. Hi, how are you? Hiya.
president's room is on this level, Joanna. Understood. Hello. Hello. How's things? Hey. Hi there. Hiya. Who are you, young lady? Mr. President, you're in danger. Trent is trying to kidnap you. You can't make accusations like that without evidence. I assume that you have some? This is a recording of a meeting between Trent and the other conspirators. It seems overwhelming. I'm in your hands. What do we do now? What the hell was that? We have to get you to the escape pod. Follow me. Maybe a mine will detach the UFO. Joanna? What's this? Uh-oh. Watch what? Will you stop playing around and shoot? Out of options. Joanna, brace yourself for impact. Report. Oh. Perfect Doc, come in. A Agent Doc reporting in. Agent Doc, please reply. Something's jamming my transmissions. It's coming from that other craft. 
I'd better find the jamming device and check that Elvis is okay. Not forgetting the president, of course. the escape pod. be able to protect the president. You'll never save him now.
here. Mr. President. Better now, young lady. Today, I think, will take a while for me to get over. I can't believe Easton would do such a thing. I knew he was ambitious, yes, but this... Just one thing, sir. What is the Pelagic II that Trent wanted so badly? It's a US government deep-sea research vessel. One of a kind. The only ship that can conduct a full-scale diving operation at extreme depth. Trent wanted me to loan it to the Datadyne Corporation, but I refused. 
Trent has a lot to answer for, but I don't think we'll find him now. You have failed, Easton. You are a flawed device, and we need you no longer. Just try it, you Scandinavian freak! You go on ahead, Joe. I'll secure the perimeter. We'll meet up later. Are you okay? Ah! Trigger the alarm. Bring it on. They'll be unable to conduct operations without any power. subs controlled from.
here. And Without the autopilot and the GPS, the ship will wander off station. <laughs> Pull the plug on that, now! Please, d don't hurt me! Die, you traitors! Switch this thing off. Uh, I'll shut it down. So long. Follow me. Let's get off this old tub. operation has been disrupted on the surface. Time for a swim. I hope the government don't want to use this ship anytime soon. Did you think we were a little heavy-handed? 
Nada. This doesn't seem normal. No one's around. No signs of conflict. No spent ammo cases or bullet holes. But there ought to be a rear guard at least. It makes no sense. There has to be someone further inside. Cover me. This 
will help us to get around the ship quicker. King.
Let's see if we can reverse what was done to him. Here goes. I just hope Datadyne haven't done anything to prevent this. Virus detected. Me and my big mouth. Commencing countermeasures. Commence. <laughs> Dr. Carroll? Are you in control again? Can you stop the program? Yes, I'm back again, my dear. But the program has run far too long for me to prevent it from completing. There is only one way out now! What do you mean? When the program has run, I will have control of a vastly powerful weapon. It cannot be allowed to exist. So I must destroy the Seton. And unfortunately, myself along with it. I am sorry, Joanna. There is no other way. I have no time to discuss this. Go now! Avoid the skedar and you will have time to escape. It has been an honor to work with you. Goodbye, Joanna Dark. We have to get out of here! Already, Joanna? We can't keep the main delegation waiting. Or the President, of course. Am I ready? What do you mean? I was ready half an hour ago. It was you holding us up. But you know how it is, Joanna. I had to make sure my hair was just right. And then there was the suit. They should keep you away from mirrors. Nervous? Very. I've waited for this moment for so many years. Contact. Friendly contact between humans and mains is what the Institute was founded for. And in a few minutes we'll be at the White House, and it will finally happen. Where did that come from? It was up on ground level. Hey! Looks like someone doesn't know when to quit. We've got to get everyone out. Auto defenses will really help me out. There's someone.
and save them! Received. I'll have to go carefully. The hostages are counting on me. That was too close. I nearly had to take them out myself. Thanks, Joe. Thanks for coming back for me, Joanna. Foster was working on. Damn it! My own <laughs> get access! Get there first, Joe, and destroy the fire! are desperate. They've planted a bomb. Get it out of the building. Understood. Joanna, we're nearly clear. The last dropship is waiting for you. Oh, 
to not be where I think I am. And it's worse than that, my dear. Just look who you've got for company. You? I thought you'd managed to escape. We found no trace of you at all. You couldn't find me, but there was no hiding from the Skedar, as you and Mr. Carrington just discovered. This is it. Wait there. I'll make a distraction. It will give you a chance to get out. Use it, or we'll both die. Why are you doing this, Cassandra? The Skedar used me, Joanna. You were my best chance for revenge. can get. Joanna, take this. You should find it useful. You take the other one.
This machine contains the Skedon standards. Time to head upwards! You go on ahead, Joe. I'll secure the perimeter. We'll meet up later. If we control the bridge, then the ship is ours. <laughs>
Wow, that's the first time I've seen another planet from space. It's beautiful. Hmm? I don't... I don't believe it! Elvis? What is it? Where are you going? We have to get down to the surface! Follow me! This is the Skedar Fanatic's most holy place! They believe this planet is sacred ground! The Battle Shrine is located at the most holy part of this holy planet! So let me get this straight. It's holy. But there's more to it than that, isn't there? Yes. In all of the time that the Alliance fought the Skedar, we never found this place. We knew that if Turret was destroyed, the war would never be over. We fought the Skedar to a standstill. We earned a ceasefire, but we always had to be on our guard. The destruction of this place would mean a chance of true peace. Then we have to be certain that no fanatics survive. I'll go in and take out the leader. You'll have to summon the Mayan fleet to level the shrine. If you're caught on the ground when the fleet gets you, you won't stand a chance. That's a mistake I don't intend to make. This seems to be one of the special pillars.
power is more constant in this area. The inner sanctum can't be far away. <laughs> animation. Body will perish. Grab my arms. We'll get you out in no time. No! Quick! Give me your gun! Will you just... Let go! I managed to get the fleet to stop the bombardment while I looked for you. They'll start as soon as we're clear. I'd have got out in time if that one hadn't grabbed my foot. Of course, Joanna, of course. No, I would have. I believe you. 